Hey there, Adam Ladolce from SexyConfidence.com, where I help the 21st century woman create a love life that she absolutely freaking loves. And in this video right now, I'm gonna be talking about how it is that you can make any man miss you. Keep watching. Now, you probably noticed this by now, but when you're in a relationship, you're not always with that person. And many times, the indicator of a good relationship is less about how he feels about you when you're around and more about how he feels about you when you're apart. If when you're apart, all he's thinking about is, damn, I am so happy to get away from that bitch, then I assure you, whatever relationship you got going on right now is definitely not gonna last. But on the other hand, if when you're apart, all he can think about is your beautiful face, Oh, I can't wait to see her again. If that's happening, then he misses you and you are doing a very good job. So here are five strategies that will help you be that woman that he can't get off his mind. Number five is be the type of woman he would actually miss. Humans are actually very simple. Either we pursue pleasure or we avoid pain. And if when he's with you, he's laughing, he enjoys your company, he's connecting with you, he's getting complimented when he does the right things, then he's going to feel pleasure. He's going to enjoy that. He's going to want more. On the other hand, if he's with you and all he's hearing is nagging for every little thing that he does or just complaints about you from your girlfriends or you just generally bring no personality to the table, then all he's gonna feel is pain when he's with you and he's not going to miss you. So that makes sense. Number five is be someone who is missable. Number four is give him some space. Now this might sound a little cliche here, but one common theme that I've noticed in all relationships that either I've been in or that my guy friends have ever been in is that men usually want a little bit more space than women do. Men are very different from women. If he needs a healthy amount of space, then you gotta give it to him. And if you're finding that you never, ever, ever want space from him, then it's time for you to start finding things, finding your own little space, finding things that you can put yourself into and go create your own little space away from him. It's really, I think, important when two people are together uh, and when they, even when they first start dating to create their own little space, create their own little time away from each other. An easy way to not give him space would be to send him this text. Do you miss me? And on the other hand, a way to make him miss you would be to send him this text when he's going out without you. Have an amazing time tonight. I'm off with my girlfriends for the night as well. Speak later. Bam, now he's gonna be thinking about you all night. Number three is stop always trying to make him miss you. Look, men aren't stupid. We know when women are subtly trying to get our attention. If when you're apart, you're doing the following things, tagging him in photos on Facebook, sending him a Snapchat every 10 minutes to get his attention, texting his friends to see what they're up to, and the worst, posting pictures with other guys on Instagram to make him a little jealous. If you try to do those things, he's not gonna miss you. He's gonna get frustrated and wanna be away from you. Number two, move even slower than he wants. Now let's say you met a guy, you're on a first date, you are killing it. You guys are connecting, you're being funny, you're being witty, you're also being elegant elegant, graceful, confident, all those things. It's going so well. If that happens, then leave. I cannot tell you how many women that I've worked with or I see who are in my Unity program, in my membership program, who tell me this, this kind of story. I met a guy online recently, had an amazing connection with him. We didn't sleep together the first night we met, but ended up hanging out the next night through the weekend. I met his friends the following week, and even his dad came by his house when I was there. But then last week I texted him and he hasn't responded. What happened? He seemed so interested. What happened is you didn't take control of the pace of the relationship. You didn't let him miss you. You gave all of yourself to him right from the start and there was nothing to miss. A lot of women assume that just because a guy really wants to keep seeing them, especially in those early stages, that they should always accept, right? Because it's going so well. So of course, gotta always accept. My advice to you though is to put the brakes on that. Let him have that space. Let him yearn for you a little bit because that space is going to allow you to get to know each other a little bit before, instead of, of course, just giving in, seeing each other every single night. You guys are still strangers and then suddenly the entire relationship just burns up into flames and then he realizes that, you know what, maybe it's moving a little bit fast and he wants to slow things down and then you get mad and the whole thing ends. We don't want that to happen, so again, move slower than he wants. And finally, leave a little mystery in the conversation. Now there's a reason why when we watch a trailer to a movie, we can't wait to watch the movie because we get, of course, a taster of what the movie's all about. But we have no idea what the whole 
full picture is about, we certainly don't know how it ends. Same thing when you're going out and meeting people or when you're on a, a you know, first couple dates, you don't need to tell him your three biggest life accomplishments on that first date. Spread it out a little bit, keep him wanting more. And when he believes that there's more depth to you, which there should be more depth to you, then of course everything you tell someone on a first date, when he knows that and he wants to keep seeing you, then he's going to miss you. He's gonna want more of that. He's gonna to wanna to dive into that complex person that is you. So let me ask you, have you ever tried any of these techniques and have they worked for you? I'd love to hear from you in the comments right there below. And also if you want more videos like this and you want more advanced programs that are gonna help you through every single stage of dating and relationships, then go ahead and head on over to sexyconfidence.com, put a link right here, you can click on that right there, and that's gonna help you download an ebook, and that book is going to help you, help teach you everything you need to know about men, dating, and relationships, and it's going to take you on a path forward to finding that success that you really want in your love life. So thank you so much for watching, and if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a like on YouTube, that really helps me out a lot, and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube for more videos just like this every single Thursday. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you next Thursday. Bye-bye.